swear, when I come to work, girls, I come in here and I'm like, I'm not gonna shop, I'm not gonna shop, I'm not gonna shop. And then I'm like, okay, uh, we're shopping. So here it is, this is new. We recently launched this and Everything about this is so awesome because she did a luxe crepe. So think dressier. Let me put, I'm gonna put actually the blue one up front so you can see it. Think, oh my gosh, first glance, it looks like a boxy cool t-shirt, right? But when you look at this, this is a luxe crepe. So now we're elevated. This can be you know, at the kids' soccer game or a Zoom meeting or in person going out to dinner. It's a luxe version of what looks kind of like a t-shirt cut, but it's that hip kind of sort of boxy cut to it as well. It's so cool. Cool. This one's going to be your black. Then this is called the storm blue. Uh, then we have what's called the sage. And then we have the cream color. I don't know. Now I got to tell you, uh, Marla lived in Paris for many, many years. She speaks fluent French, but how do you pronounce the next word after the word cream? Ecrime. No, it's F-R-A-I-C-H-E. Oh, cream fresh. Fresh, oh, fresh. fresh. Uh, but that's the French spelling of it. Okay. And is right. this different I, I, than your regular... I'm thinking coffee. Okay. Is this different huh? than your regular whites that you've done or the ivories yes. you've done in the past? Yeah. Okay. That, well, you, you do pay attention, don't you? Yes, ma'am. So, yes, it is. And I'll tell you why. So, I love the ecru that we do all year in the winter because it's a warmer, yellower. But I don't like an optic optic white, and I have been looking for a new white. We often do ecru all through the summer, and I just felt like it was a better color. Now, I want you to see one thing before I take this off. Uh, what I want you to see is it's a little boxy tee, right, in every one of these colors. And I was just starting to see, oh, could I style it even with our um, – we've got some really wonderful pieces coming up in our velour. But I wanted – or chenille, rather – and I wanted you to see how the total look can look, right? But I want you to see how great this tea is because I always say, oh, you know, who needs just another tea? Well, I think nobody does. So I didn't make just another tea. What I made was what I think is the perfect tea. It is a little cropped. I'm wearing it with the Luxe Crepe pant, which is a fairly fitted pant, but I still feel like I get coverage because the girls do a little bit of work holds it out there, but I particularly love the length of the sleeve and I like the crew neck. It's casual. It does everything that all my favorite, you know, old ratty tees that are now used to like wipe off the windows and the countertop because I just like got rid of all of that junk. These tees, first of all, wash like a dream. I took this tee on my trip with me and I wore it day in and day out and I just rinsed it out. You know, the little um, pieces you were looking at before that were in chiffon, you could layer those over it. But it is the perfect tee for me. I happen to love it because it's got just a slight drop shoulder. That's important because it gives you just a little bit more room here and here. But guys, the stretch is incredible. You wash this, you wash this in the washing machine, you can throw it in the dryer. On my trip, I didn't have a dryer. I'd rinse it out at night. I could get up the next morning and wear it. I'll tell you so what, that's gonna be so- great piece for layering. But Marley, you know what's gonna be so cute with that, guys? I, I have a little pair of white shorts I was wearing in that one picture on the helicopter. A little white short with great little funky tennis shoes. You're be bopping around to that Saturday morning market. Or you say, hey, you know what? I've gotta get on a call real quick.